I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me try to lay my cards on the table here. Uh, um, am I the only one of us who has... I, you, have you not felt a mutual attraction? Or am I picking up vibes that just not I'm with David. But you don't have to be. And that, in a nutshell, is what I came here to say. Okay. So you said it. Okay, so now I'm going to say it again to make sure you hear it. Hannah David is not your only option. Thank you. I'm very flattered. But I'm really not in a position to consider him. I know, option. I know you and David have shared a lot. And I know that the child you're carrying, his child, is always going to be a bond between you. I know that. But I shouldn't plan for any future. Well, I don't see how the hell you can. I mean, the man's got a list of pending charges against him as long but as I arm, strongly believe that? that faith is part of love, and I have faith. I believe that, too. But I also believe the truth and honesty are part of love. And you have told me time and time again that you do not have those things with David. Not at the moment, no. <laughs> and are you ready to settle for that? I mean, you and I have shared quite a bit, too, in the past few weeks. I've got to tell you, one thing about you that I admire more than anything else, maybe, is your sense of loyalty. But to be quite candid, there's a great deal more about you that I also admire. It's not my taste in men. <laughs> well, not so far. <laughs> you have so much to offer, Anna. So much. I'm offering it to David. You know, I... <laughs> we all think that we can change the other person. I mean, we hope that what we bring to the relationship will show them somehow, teach them somehow, and make them into the person that we want them to be. But it just, it just doesn't work that way. I, I like things. what David brings. Yes, you've told me about those things. Surprise, uncertainty. It's not just that. But are those the traits that you want to have in your baby's father? I mean, are those the traits you would expect to find in a man who's going to be there, be there for you and your child forever and ever? Like you're there for Lily. You know, I, I really, I couldn't imagine a better father than you. I mean that. I appreciate I mean that. that. No, listen, that's a nice thing you'd say to me. It really is. I thank you. I just, and I just want you to consider what you're doing before you get in so deep that you and your child can never get out, ever. Well, it's not... David's not going to lock us up. No? No, I can leave if I want to, I think. <laughs> okay, well, you're a strong woman, and I believe you could leave. I just want to make sure you know that you have someplace to go to. Oh. Thank you. I really appreciate this. I think you're very brave. <laughs> Well, if you'd heard my heart pounding outside that door before you opened it, you wouldn't think I was so brave. But I am brave enough to hear what's in your heart. In my heart? Yes. Oh, in my heart is a, a, a very fierce love for David that I couldn't imagine giving to anyone else except his baby. That's what I came here to say, and I just hope that I didn't upset you and say... No, you didn't upset me, no. Okay, good. But if you want to pretend it never happened, that's okay. I'm not going to pretend it didn't happen. I'm, I'm pleased that you were honest with me. Thank you. Thank you. I just want you to know that that welcome mat is going to stay outside my door. You understand that? <laughs> what? 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 What's wrong? Nothing. David, nothing at all. I just stopped by and see you. What do you really want? He just stopped by to see me. It's none of your old buddies over the department. They didn't put on an APB on me. Not this time. You know, is it such an inconvenience to say goodbye to me when you leave or to tell me where you're going? I went to see Maria. Okay, so? Didn't go well. Okay, so I'm home. 
You're happy? Yes, I'm happy. I am really, really happy. If you could just drop this tube long enough to find out why. All right, I'm sorry, okay? I, I just, I've had a lousy afternoon, and I just assumed that you were going to get my case too. Aw, poor you. Well, I forgive you. And no matter how miserable your day has been, it is going to get very fabulous. Are you delusional? No. Is that why Jackson came here to see you? No. Right before he came, I was on the phone with the hospital. Okay. The amnio results. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So everything's all right? Everything's fine, yes. And one other thing, Daddy. A little me or a little you? A little me. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> really?